quantum mechanics is our fundamental framework for understanding the physics, the behavior of the very, very small. I'm talking like atoms, molecules, and subatomic particles. I'm Paul Sutter, and this is Paul Explains, the show where I, you know, explain. There's three big pieces to quantum mechanics. Uh, one of the pieces is in the name itself, this idea of quantization, that certain properties of subatomic systems like energy or angular momentum come in discrete levels or packets or what we call quanta, hence the name quantization. For example, an electron in an atom can't have any old energy that it feels like. No, it can have only certain energy levels. That's because the energy levels in an atom are quantized. This is a fundamental core tenet of quantum mechanics and it's very different than the physics of the macroscopic world. Another key component of quantum mechanics is something we call wave particle duality, where tiny things sometimes act like particles, like tiny little bullets, tiny little billiard balls, tiny little ping pong balls, bouncing around doing everything that particles do. And sometimes also act like waves where they're more sloshing around or they interfere with each other. Depending on what you're looking for and how you're looking for it, sometimes, sometimes it might act like a little bit of both. And the last bit is that quantum mechanics, uh, subatomic systems are ruled by probabilities and uncertainty. Up here in the macroscopic world, if you can know exactly where something is and exactly how fast it's moving and you can predict using the laws of physics exactly where it's gonna be, exactly where it's gonna go, but you don't get that kind of precise knowledge in the subatomic world you don't always know exactly where something is like an electron you don't always know where an electron is or how fast it's going and once you do know where it is or at least have some idea you don't know exactly where it's going to go instead it's going to be a range of probabilities our understanding of quantum mechanics underlies so many things. Atomic and nuclear power, all of that is thanks to our understanding of quantum mechanics. Uh, microchips, semiconductors, lasers and LED, and even biology. So, you know, a bunch of physicists playing around in the early 20th century gave us this major cornerstone of many fields of science.